Hello everyone, Andy here from eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at the Thule Camber 4 hanging style bike rack on our 2020 Mazda CX-5. Now with this hanging style bike rack, it does have some very nice features to it. It does have 7 inch spacing between each cradle of the rack and on top of that each cradle is rubber lined to where it meets the contact point on the frame as well as rubber lined on the underneath side of the ratcheting straps. Now as far as unloading the bike, I first like to remove the strap from the post here underneath the seat and then remove the two straps from the top of the post. Sometimes these can be a little difficult if they're not lined up. I will just go ahead and remove the bike like so. And as stated before, you can see the spacing here in between each bike allows easy use to load and unload and the rubber that is lined on all of the cradles as well as underneath the strap. These are movable to fit different style and sizes of frames as well. Let's go ahead and look at some measurements for clearance purposes. First, we're gonna look at the bottom portion that sticks out most of the rear bumper to the end of the rack. Looks like it's gonna be about 43 inches there. And now for ground clearance, we'll have two points here to the bottom of the pivoting portion about 12 and a half inches and the bottom of the shank is going to be 10 inches there. Now let's go ahead and lower the arms here. And from there, we're gonna take a couple measurements just to see if we were to park the vehicle in a garage or on a tight street. Lift up the lever here on the top, lower and it will lock into place. Now for our measurements, same portion, bottom portion of the bumper here that sticks out, we're looking at to where our straps uh, 13 and a half inches and now the closest point from the bottom of the bumper to where the rack is This main mast here. We're looking at Seven and a quarter inches. We're gonna take another measurement also just this portion here has some tight clearance to the bottom of the bumper About two and a quarter inches as well as the hitch or I'm sorry the hatch to this portion of the swiveling arm we're Looking at five and three quarters inches now we're gonna show the tilt down feature in order to access the hatch. We're just gonna pull up on this gray lever here and slowly let the arm down. From here we have plenty of clearance in order to put any other equipment or any other gear in the back of our hatch. This rack will work for one and a quarter inch hitches and does come with the adapter sleeve to work with two inch hitches. A anti-rattle bolt is included, it does not lock. And as you can see, there is a little bit of movement up and down, but for left and right, there is no play. Overall, my final thoughts are this is a very well-engineered entry-level bike rack. The only downside is, is not having a locking option or locks. Thule does offer a anti-rattle hitch pin bolt that does lock. My suggestion as well would be to purchase a bike lock cable to secure your bikes. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that is a look at our Thule Camber 4 bike rack on our 2020 Mazda CX-5.